is one name I love to call The name of Jesus Demons can't withstand No other name I know I can deliver At the mention of the name Every knee must bow Good afternoon, beloved of the Lord. Welcome to this special edition of my program today. I trust that the Lord is good in your lives, in your homes, in your family, in your nations, wherever you are watching me from this day. Let's give glory and honor unto the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the Almighty and Everlasting Father. Let's just worship the Lord, the giver of life. The mighty man in battle. Let's worship the King of Kings. Oh God, arise in this hour. Fill the atmosphere, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name, O oh Lord. Father, you are a covenant keeping God. You are a God that does not change your word. You defend your interest in nations of the world. This afternoon, I am going to be speaking on a very, very special topic. And I want God in heaven to arise for our sake. My topic today is, where are the Deborahs of Nigeria in this hour? Where are the Debra? Where are the Debras in this season? You know, let's go into the scripture. When I look at the book of Judges, chapter 4. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of the, um, Judges, chapter 4, we're gonna read from verse 1. After a who died, the Israelites once again did evil in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord sold them into the hand of Jabin, the king of Canaan, who reigned in Harrow. In Hor. The commander of the army of was Caesarea, who lived in Horoshet. Because he had 900 iron chariots and had cruelly oppressed the Israelites for 20 years, they cried to the Lord. <laughs> Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidot, was leading Israel at that time. She, had, she held courts under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. And the Israelites came to her to have their disputes um, decided. She sent for Barak, son of Abinam from Kadesh in Naphtali and said to him, The Lord, the God of Israel, command you, Go! Take with you 10,000 men of Naphtali and Zebulun and lead the way to Mount Tabor. I will lead Caesar, the commander of Jabin's army, with his chariots and his troops to the Kishon River and give him into your hands. Barak said to her, If you will go with me, I will go. But if you, if you don't go with me, I won't go. Very well, Deborah said, I will go with you. But because of the way you are going about this, the honor will, be, will not be yours. For the Lord will hand Caesarea over to a woman. Glory be to God. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about what is going on in my native country of Nigeria. <laughs> you know, when the battle is hot, it's the mothers that will rise up. We can see clearly what's been going on with the killings, the murder of innocent women, pregnant women, how they have been slaughtered. Um, God is not pleased at all. He is not pleased about this innocent killing. We are, we are, our nation is not at war yet. Blood is flowing. There was a night the Lord woke me up. He said, daughter, 
Look in the east, in the south, in the west, in the north. Blood, blood flowing across Nigeria. Blood flowing. And what are you going to do about it? I said, Lord, what can I do? <laughs> you are the commander of the host of the army of the living God. We have kept quiet for too long. You know, I have been singing. I have been saying what God is saying concerning what God was showing me concerning Nigeria. There are other women of God. Obviously, I'm not the only Deborah in this season. There are other women that are crying to God in different places in their porches. But now, we have a reason. We say enough is enough. Enough is enough of this innocent killing. This is barbaric. We are in the 21st century. Why can't we live together in one unity? Why can't we live together in peace? Why has Satan come in to divide the nation of Nigeria? The Bible says in, in Isaiah 52, it says, awake, awake. Awake, awake. The church is sleeping. The enemy has crept in. And they are killing our people. It's time they stop. It's time they stop. In the name of Jesus, it's time to stop. We are not going to keep mothers. We are not going to keep mute while our children are being killed. Our men are being killed. Our daughters are being killed. We are not keeping quiet. We No, we say no to these innocent killings. I'm telling you, if you keep quiet in this season, it could be for Benue State. Maybe the next state is yours. May that not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Hey. The Bible says in Revelation, in the book of Re Revelation, that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. It's time for us to rise up in prayer. It's not time to be doing sleeping. We have slept enough. And we can see God keeps saying, I see this civil war coming to Nigeria and we are keeping quiet. Do you know what civil war is about? We've had one before when I was young. It was not funny. We can see what's happening in Syria. We can see what is happening in, in, in Sudan. War is not pleasant. And it's time for mothers to arise. It's time to, for mothers to arise. Oh God, arise in your power. Defend your, your nation of Nigeria. Lord, you have an interest in the nation of Nigeria. Nigeria shall not go down in the name of Jesus. Nigeria shall not be divided in the name of Jesus. All those people that are planning evil behind the scene, oh God, expose them and take power from them in the name of Jesus. God will disgrace them. God will disarm them. In the name of Jesus. We cannot keep mute like this. Where are the Debras? Where are the Esthers? Arise. I read the scripture in, um, in Judges chapter 4. How after a huge die, the Israelites again did evil in the sight of God. It's because we have done evil. That's why. All these people are rising up. Can't you see? All the, you see, Nigeria, why we need to be in a place of repentance. Honestly, we ought to put ashes on our bodies and be crying to God that, oh God, arise in your power. Oh God, arise in your anger. It's time, Lord, to, for you to arise, oh Lord. Oh Lord, defend your nation. I'm telling you, God has a purpose for creating Nigeria. It's not that one section will be enjoying while the others are dying. No. God gave us the resources equally. Nobody is greater than each other. We are all one in the sight of God. Why this innocent killing? Why this fool and his head man? Enough is enough. God is watching you. God is watching the government. If you keep quiet in such a time as this, God will take the power from you. God will remove the government from you. God will disarm you. God will displace you in the name of Jesus. If you keep mute in a time when it's critical like this. You know, 
in 2016, the Lord showed me a vivid dream about our President Buhari. And in that dream, I saw mobs. People were shouting, get him out, get him out. We don't want him anymore. That was in the vision the Lord showed me. And I, brought it, I put it back on Facebook and I spoke about it. 2016. Why? Now, did you see? I mean, yesterday I felt so sick. Yesterday I felt so disheartening. I said, Lord, is this a nation you fought for? Is this the reason why you created Nigeria? No, it's not the reason, Lord. It's time, oh God, to arise. Don't keep quiet, Christians. I'm telling you, this is what happened to Turkey many years ago. Did you know that Turkey used to be a Christian nation? We, they were all keeping quiet. Oh, it's not going to happen. Today, Turkey is predominantly Muslim country. And now, this is happening in Nigeria and we are keeping quiet. Women arise in your power. It's time for war. And the spirit, I'm not saying going to take arms, no. It's time for fasting. It's time for prayer. It's time for to cry unto the Lord that, oh God, defend your nation, defend Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise in your power. Oh Lord, defend your people. Ah, why? Why, oh God? Why? Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you don't rise up in this season, if we all keep quiet as children of God while our, our Christians are being maimed and we are keeping quiet, God is going to judge us. God brought us into the kingdom for such a time as this. You can, as a mother, I am a mother of three. I have three beautiful children and I will not want anything to happen. I wouldn't want somebody to invade my privacy and come in and slaughter people, pregnant women, babies, men, women, old men. Ah, it's time this evil must stop. God must put an end to this in the name of Jesus. We must rise up in a place of prayer and begin to shout. Our fathers must get up and begin to shout. Our mothers in the Lord, they must shout. And they must begin to cry out to God. Oh, Ramashan, they came also to Yala. It's time to rise up in prayer. It's not time to keep quiet. Oh, it's not time to, leave, to keep quiet. Honestly, it's not time. It's not time. It's not time. Oh, we have no other, we have no other place to run to. We run unto your arm, oh God. We run to you in this season. Nigeria must not divide. Nigeria must not divide. Nigeria must not be divided. In the name of Jesus, these monsters that are killing people. I mean, how can you say a cattle rear and themselves with AK-47 and going to people's homes, going to people's land and taking them by force? What do you call that? Ethnic cleansing. Oh, in a disguised way. Why can't we just do something? Why can't the churches rise up? Why can't they hold days of, you know, in the time of Deborah? The men couldn't go to battle without the women. Yes, Deborah led them. And you know what? Deborah led Israel for 40 years. There was peace in the land. Don't claim you are a weaker vessel. No, we are not weaker. We are not weaker vessels. We are Holy Ghost filled. Arise, women of God. Arise, our fathers, our mothers. It's time to defend our land. If you allow Nigeria to be taken over and become like Turkey, go and read your history. Turkey used to be a Christian nation. But today, it's just a fraction of people that are Christian there. Look at the way they are killing people. I believe in my heart of heart that these are Boko Haram people that have disguised themselves and saying they are, they are headsmen. Listen, I live in England for many, many years. I have never seen one day um, the farmers parading their animals on the road. Impossible. Why is it only in Nigeria? So anywhere they come and they possess it, they will eat your food, they will, they will sleep with the women. They will kill them. And the government is not even talking. Who is supposed to be, pro who is supposed to be protecting us? What, what? Is it not the government? I am even surprised 
that yesterday when um, Benue State had that memorial service in Benue State, that's the time Buhari ought to be there. He wasn't there when his son was sick in the hospital. He was there. No, you are the father of our nation. We are the father of Nigeria. Buhari, rise up. I am telling you prophetically that if you do not step up and stop this ethnic cleansing, God will remove you. In the name of Jesus, God will remove you. In the name of Jesus, God will remove you. In the name of Jesus, if you will not rise up and put a stop to this menace in Nigeria, God Almighty will raise another deliverer for, the, for Nigeria. God will raise another Moses for Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. How long are we going to keep quiet for? Mothers, where is your voice? <laughs> Let me tell you. One time, my king told me a story. I'm sure this will help us. He told me, he said, many, many years ago, that in, the, in I'm from Okene, the king said to me that when the bat when they, they were, the, 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 the place was, the, the, the town was at a war, the men, the strong men, they came out. Everybody ran inside. He said, one night, his mother and women came out naked. <laughs> All the men, they ran off. And they took back the town. The women stood and fought. How much more? This is a hidden king. How much more we, the children of God? We, the debris of this season. No, don't say I am a prophetess for nothing. You do not hold that office of a prophet just for blah blah sake. This is the time we need to rise up in anger. Because no mother, I am telling you, no mother would like their children to be slaughtered. No mother, no father. This innocent killing in Nigeria, it needs to stop. It's evil. After all, we are brothers, we are sisters. Where is this spirit of death coming from? In the name of Jesus, we bind and paralyze the activities in Nigeria in Jesus' name. We release the blood of Jesus upon the land of Nigeria to cleanse it in the name of Jesus. There is this spirit of suicide, this spirit that is attacking people, it must die by fire in the name of Jesus. We can no more keep quiet. Mothers arise, pray, pray, pray your way through. Pray so God will reign, will raise another leader for us. Right now, we don't have leaders. Because if we have leaders, why would Buhari be keeping quiet? Why, why would the Senate be keeping quiet? Why would the House of Assembly be keeping quiet in this hour? What, are, what is their job? What is their job? They sent policemen. Look at Nigerian policemen. It's a joke, isn't it? They are not well armed. When there was fight, they went in the, um, Biafran that was not even armed. They sent army. They sent air force. Why? To stop it. Now that is, there is ethnic cleansing in Nigeria. Now that the Fulanis are causing headmen are causing havoc in Nigeria. Where is your helicopter? Where is your army? Where are the people that you are supposed to go? And defend your defend that land. Isn't it one-sided? It is one-sided. I'm telling you, God said, I have heard the cry of the innocent people. God said, I sought a man that will stand in the gap. God is calling on the skillful women not to keep quiet, not to keep silent. It is time for war and the spirit. We need to take back Nigeria back. Nigeria will not be broken in the name of Jesus. Nigeria, there will be, shall be no civil war in the name of Jesus. This demon sucking um, full and heads men. They should go back to their place where they belong. You cannot go to people's states and start to harass them. Why can't you make a law where you, if you want to be a farmer, then have a ranch. Where you keep your animals. You are because you, don't, you are not well equipped. You have no brain. So you just release your animals to be killing people. Eating people's food. 
They will eat them. They, when you talk, they will kill you. Believe you me, if Nigeria keep going the way we are going, I am not saying it as a prophet. If Buhari do not rise up in this hour to put an end to this menace, I said it before, God will replace him in the name of Jesus. God must replace him. If he does not rise up as the commander of the chief of army of Nigeria, God must rise up. He will raise up another in his place in the name of Jesus. We cannot go keep quiet. Because tomorrow, it's in, uh, it's in, today it happened in Benue State. Tomorrow it could be Kogi State, my, my people. But I'm telling you, Nigeria people, we are not, we are not, <laughs> don't even think it. Because they will not, they will not accept it. In the name of Jesus. You know? So, I am just, I am baffled that how can, in, the, in year 2018, we started the year again with killings. I said it earlier on, I said the only problem Nigeria has is innocent bloodshed. Every nation is peculiar, you have their own peculiar problem. But sadly, Nigeria has become a nation where innocent blood are shed and nobody is betting an eyelid. I want to ask President Buhari a question. If it's Aisha that was that was slaughtered, are you going to arise? If it's your daughter that was killed, will you rise up? If it's your son Yusuf that was beheaded, massacred, will you have risen up? Will you keep quiet and not say something? <laughs> you see, double standard. Eh. It's time God will raise up men of integrity. Men that has heart for the nation. Men that will stand and defend the integrity of Nigerians. This is the season. Nigeria is not just for the northerners. No. It's, you, you know, when the whole of Nigeria elected you, they gave you their support, they put you in power. Now, it's just the north. You look at everything they are doing, position north. Position north. Position north. Mm. Injustice, injustice, injustice. I don't care if you send somebody to come and arrest you. you are. My God is that I serve is greater than you. I will not keep quiet because if I keep quiet for such a time as this, God will judge me. Esther said, Do I know if I came into the kingdom for such a time as this? Every mother needs to be crying. Every mother needs to be crying. Every grandmother needs to be crying. Every sister needs to be crying. Why? This evil must stop. In our land, in Nigeria. I grew up in Nigeria to the age of 19. Before I came to uh, UK in 1979. I didn't see this menace. It was only the civil war I experienced. And then I was a little girl. But look at, we are not even in civil war. Every day is killing, 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 killing. Why? When is this madness going to stop? Look, it's not good enough for all of you to be in the Senate for what use. Any the fattest, the biggest money any, in any nation, nations have ever uh, uh, earned. And you people are keeping silence. I would like to talk by now. Buhari will be on the news. He will have flown to Benue State and Plateau State whenever there is crisis. Nasarawa State. Mm -mm. It's not. He said today I was hearing in the news. His son has been discharged. Who cares? One of those people that died. I'm sorry. One of those people that died. One of that pregnant woman. One of that small boy. One of that woman, that boy, that man. Why? We are all keeping quiet because when civil war starts in Nigeria, which I pray to not in the name of Jesus, we will have ourselves to blame. This is the time to rise up in anger, in prayer, in fasting, and begin to decree that Nigeria, in the name of Jesus, you will not go down. In Jesus' name, you will not go down. In the mighty name of Jesus, we disarm this fool and amen. In the name of
of Jesus, the headsmen, the power of God will descend them in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord, let God arise in his anger and let the enemy of Nigeria be scattered in the name of Jesus. Every power from the pit of hell that has been raised for such a time as this to scatter Nigeria, to bring civil war to Nigeria. I say, hear the word of the Lord. You are a liar. It will not happen in the name of Jesus. It's time we are getting up. The women are rising up in the power of the Holy Ghost. We are saying no. No more civil war. No more headsmen. No more Boko Haram in the name of Jesus. No more, no more Fulani headsmen. Killing our people. We said it's enough. It's enough. As mothers, we say we'll rise up today. And in the name of Jesus. We say the Lord will fight for us. In the name of Jesus. You know, most times we say, we are, oh Lord, we will hold our peace. No! No more hold peace. Rise up in your prayer and begin to pray. Begin to, you begin to fast. Let God disarm this, this fool and he hates men. It's enough. You know, let's, let me tell you, no one is safe in Nigeria. Because this fool and he men, they are all over the 36 states of Nigeria. So, if they are coming to fight with AK-47, you don't have anything. What are you defending yourself with? And with a government like this, I can't even defend itself. Look at my... Buhari, I don't understand. Buhari is keeping quiet. Why? The whole 36 states of Nigeria elected you as president of Nigeria, not just the northern part of Nigeria. Why is this innocent people? Oh, yesterday I was so traumatized when I saw the coffins of these people. So many of them. Why? 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 If Fulani headsmen want to want to keep their animals, they should build a ranch. That's what civilized people do. That's what they do here in the Western world. I've never, I've lived here in for 38 years. I lived in England. I never saw the, uh, the cattlemen or the farmers parading their stocks. Never. See, they will never, when they come here, they don't take the good ones. They will allow these animals calling themselves full and headsmen to be killing innocent people. I am telling you, their deaths are over in the name of Jesus. God Almighty will raise a standard against them in the name of Jesus. God will defend his country. God will defend the purpose of Nigeria. Nigeria will not go down in the name of Jesus. The interest of Nigeria's God will uphold it in Jesus' name. Enough is enough. We must stop this barbaric killing of one another. We are not animals. We are human beings. That has feeling. God created us to replenish. Listen, these people are the people. They are from the north. So why come to the middle bed? You go to Anambra, you go to rivers, you go to everywhere and killing people. Why? And there's nobody talking. That's the sad part of it. Did you hear Buhari? Not even the, you know, how many news, how many televisions uh, were carrying it? I was only seeing it on social media. Let me tell you. God is angry with Nigeria. He is angry with the leaders. God is angry with Buhari. And I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus, Buhari, if you do not rise up and be a father to the whole of Nigeria, God Almighty will replace you. In the name of Jesus, I have decreed this so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. God will replace you. God Almighty will replace you. In the name of Jesus, God will dethrone you. In the name of Jesus, and God will raise another to take your place. The reason why the whole so many Nigerians voted for you is because you said there's going to be a change. Where is the change? No petrol. People queue for hours. There is no light. Now, on top of it, people are still quiet. Now they are killing people. And you expect our people to be, to be silenced? Mm -mm. If we keep quiet, they will do worse. If we keep quiet, they will begin to invade homes because they are carrying AKs 47. By the way, how much do you know how much each, each of those guns they cost? A lot of money. So if you say you are just a cattle rider, where do you get such money? Hmm. God will defend us. In the name of Jesus. We are not keeping quiet anymore. 
We are not keeping silence anymore. Arise, the Deborahs of Nigeria. Rise up and cry to God. That's what Deborah did, you know, in the book of Judges. She didn't keep silent. She went to war. Barak, as a man, could not even go. Except Deborah, a mighty woman of God, a prophetess of God, went with him. And that was why the victory came into the hand of the women, in the woman. I am telling you, it's not my wish for Nigeria to perish. It's not the wish of God for Nigeria to perish. It's the wish of God that we stay as one strong, united country. God has provided us with everything we need. The minerals, the resources, and everything. So, why now? What is it we need that God has not given, blessed that nation with? Beautiful weather, petrol, minerals. But, <laughs> the demons of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, they are not satisfied. They want to... They want to stockpile their, their, their drugs with human blood. They will eat their own blood. They will drink their own blood. They will eat their own flesh in the name of Jesus. I am telling you, God is going to send an attack, an ambushment in, in the name of Jesus into the camp of this fulani headmen. Wherever they are, God will raise up his army upon them. Because enough is enough. Nigeria, arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. No more war. No more drinking of blood. No more innocent blood shed. No more killing. No more Boko Haram. In the name of Jesus. Enemies of progress. Why can't we just... Why? I want to hear that Nigeria, we just invented this beautiful invention. No. Our own is war, war, war. Blood, blood, blood. How long for? How long for? The Bible says God is the one that watches over a nation. And if we are not careful as a nation, may the enemy not divide us in the name of Jesus. May God not send evil into our land. For this, you see, let me tell you, when Abel's blood was shed, God reacted violently. Now tell me how many blood, innocent blood have been shed. You know what God told me? He said, daughter, he said, the, 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 the cry of the blood of the innocent have come unto me in heaven and I will avenge their death. Are you blaming God? No. Enough. It's enough. That's why I asked Buhari before I round up. I said, if Aisha was the one that pieces into people, Cut into pieces. Will you, will you keep quiet? If it's your daughter that was slaughtered, will you keep quiet? If it's your son that was beheaded, will you have been silent? And yet, you are our father, you claim, of the nation. Why are you quiet? Why can't this man stop in the name of Jesus? So, enough. I have said my own. The purpose of this message today is to for God, all of you that are calling yourself Debras, you are sitting down. The Esthers, get up and fight for your nation. Get up and defend your nation in prayer, in war, warfare, spiritual warfare. The blood of Jesus in the book of Revelation, the Bible says, and we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We overcome this flood head man by the blood of Jesus. We overcome them in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of progress in Nigeria, they will go to bed, they will not rise up in the name of Jesus. Overnight, God will take their life in the name of Jesus. Whoever or whatever that is after the interest of Nigeria, that, is, that does not want peace in Nigeria, Oh God, arise in your power. Oh Lord, disarm them. Oh Lord, disgrace them. Oh Lord, overtake them. Oh God, overrun them. Oh God, behead them in the name of Jesus. And lastly, Lord, whoever need to die for Nigeria to move forward, tonight, not tomorrow, I decree it by the decree of heaven. 
whoever needs to for die for Nigeria to move forward, oh God, arise, slaughter them tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the angel of death begin to visit them. Let them go to bed. They will not wake up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Please do me a big favor. Share this message. Let it go. Until he gets to the, the table of President Buhan. So he can maybe sleep. He can wake up. I'm not calling any other person. Because Buhari, you are the president of Nigeria. So if there is problem. The whole bulk of the problem will come to you. Nigeria arise and shine. For the glory of God is upon you. Nigeria will not be divided in the name of Jesus. Nigeria, you will not go into a civil war. You will not experience civil war in the name of Jesus. Nigeria, there shall be no more death in the name of Jesus. No more innocent killing of Nigerians in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, Lord. Father, we begin to cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself and my family with the blood of Jesus. I cover Nigeria with the blood of Jesus. No weapon. No weapon. Fashion against Nigeria shall prosper. And every evil tongue that will rise up against Nigeria, we shall condemn them in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Women, rise up and pray. Rise up and pray. Rise up and pray. Don't keep mute. Because God has raised us for such a time as this. God bless you. My name is Prophetess Dr. Margaret Mayaki. By the grace of God, the general overseer of a ministry called Sanctuary for the Broken Hearted Ministries International, where God is doing wonders. Women, arise. Take your places. Take your places on the tower and watch what is coming to Nigeria. Take your places on your prayer closet and begin to pray your way through. Nigeria will not divide in the name of Jesus. It is well with Nigeria and it is well with our soul. God bless you. Please help me to share this message. Send it as WhatsApp, whatever method you are going to send it, send it on Facebook. God bless Nigeria in Jesus' name.